Hi, my dear buddy. It's a very, very, very warm welcome to this class. Now, all of you must be aware of the thumbnail, ah, uh, because you know here we are talking about the NEET twenty twenty five aspirants. Here, I will be discussing with you guys those issues, which those problems, those ah, uh, you know, uh, things which NEET twenty twenty four aspirants did, which you should not do. I know now you guys are in class twelfth. You have recently passed class eleventh. Now, when you are in class twelfth, what to do? When to start studying? And uh, uh, how my time management should be? What all things I need to avoid? Everything I will be discussing today. So be with me in this session, and it is going to be a super, super, super informative for you guys for NEET twenty twenty five aspirants. Now, <coughs> see the first thing is. many people or many students they start preparing for the neat examination when they clear their board examination they think ki now we are, our boards are done now we should focus on neat is that so do you really think we should do this no what do you think within that time duration of 2 months or uh, you know hardly 2.5 month will you be able to qualify that neat examination where lakhs of students are sitting see it is somewhere or other it is possible but over that time of 2 to 2.5 month it creates lot of pressure on a student because in that time period student they focus on class 11th they focus on class 12th they have three different subjects physics chemistry biology they do lot of mcqs so why to overburden yourself at that particular time Yes so all of you because now you're in class 12th you've recently cleared class 11th what you guys should do so let's talk about it <sighs> neat 2025 aspirant so yes buddies neat 2025 aspirant what should you do now everyone come up with this idea and they say ma'am we are in class 12th we should focus on class 12th first class 12th now you have a subject of class 12th which you will be doing because you will be having your board examination either cbsc or your board exam any other board right similarly you have recently done class 11th recently done class 11th okay right and class 11th right now you will study only for neat and this our other one you have to study for neat as well as for board examination is this point clear right it's nothing new it's very simple basic things i am discussing now here if i talk about this is the month of a march this is march you guys are done with your examination class 11th examination right march 2024 and when is your exam that means might be in the month of may tentatively may 2025 it will be your exam now how to proceed because here we have is board examination and for this board examination we have this thing in mind ki we have to study a lot because there will be board examination you will be having that mark sheet which you will carry throughout the life lot of things must be going in in your mind along with that in the board examination you will be having your practicals also so you have to focus on everything you have to lot of things yeah there will be lot of pressure so what to do now what to do and when to start it is a march month that is 2024 march and what you guys have to study is you have to study physics chemistry and biology and if i multiply this by 2 to why am i doing this because 11th 12th 11th 12th 11th 12th yes then clear now what to do now what to focus on now now guys my suggestion is till may or maximum by the month of june march to may in this particular time period first thing is you have to focus on class 11th you have to focus on your class 11th class 11th all subjects class 11th physics chemistry biology that means buddy because you guys have recently completed the class 11th so all of you must be worried about uh, must be aware about uh, you know the syllabus of class 11th the 12 uh, 11th physics chemistry and biology right you all are aware of it now what you are going to do is first you will take out the previous year nmc syllabus nmc nmc syllabus nmc syllabus will be for the neat examination now you will match and study according to the 
according to the whatever things are given in the NMC syllabus. Done? I know for the next year, that is for the NEET 2025, uh, we don't have a proper syllabus, but for 24, we have a syllabus. So you can follow accordingly. Might be there, uh, like there can be changes. We are not sure about it, but there will be minor changes, not major changes. You can't say plus minus 5% changes can be there, but considering recently in the last year there was there were changes, 2024 there are a lot of changes, but I don't think so that those changes or some other changes will occur in the next year. So class 11th, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, you have to study from March to June, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Physics, Chemistry, Biology. Now here I'll talk about the biology first. Now biology, you know the 50% of the questions they come from biology. So now question comes, ma'am, how to study biology? How to study biology? Now you'll be like, ma'am, you keep on repeating this word. One thing is NCRT. You all are having your NCRT with you. So you have to just read NCRT. Read N C E R T and whatever notes you have, either if these are your school notes or any other notes, your coaching notes, whatever you are having, just go through them. First thing is NCRT. Now you'll be like, "Hey, ma'am, in this particular coaching institute, in this particular uh, uh, video, you have taught something extra, or some extra things are there. So many things. Yeah, th I was also uh, I used to appear for many competitive examination, and this was in my mind also. Oh, this is something extra which I don't know about it. This must be very important. No, guys, do not overburden yourself, and that I can vouch here on this public platform. Ki 95% of the syllabus, if you look at the previous year paper, everything comes from your uh, NCRT only. You, you, you all are having your pre previous year paper, previous year, uh, you know, the paper, so you can have a clear look. So, first thing is read the NCRT. Line by line, you will be reading the NCRT. Okay. And during reading the NCRT, make your own notes. And notes in the form of short notes. Not like that of the long notes which you used to prepare when you were in class 11th, right? Because at that time you were appearing for subjective paper, so notes used to be long. But here the notes will be short notes. You have to focus on the short notes. Okay, and the whatever the notes you are having, you can follow them. Uh, no restrictions here, but do that. Okay, but strict only, restrict yourself only to NCRT, right? Uh, and whenever you get time, always it's always good to practice questions. But make sure by the month of June, you are completing your class 11 syllabus. Same you're going to do with the physics and chemistry. In both these subjects, first specifically if I talk about the physics, there are numericals. Numericals are there. So you should practice those. So First thing is 25%, you know, the concept is important, but 75% questions are important. So you should practice more and more questions. First thing is your NCRT based questions you have to practice and your pre previous year type questions. And whatever book you choose for practicing questions, make sure in that book, uh, you know, the questions are given in the form of topic. Suppose you complete particular topic of a particular chapter. And once you complete that, so questions will be there related to those instead of finding your specific questions from a group of questions, it becomes difficult. So better you should look for those books where, you know, uh, topic wise, I'm not saying the chapter wise, topic wise questions are given. That will be easy for you for the practice. Same you're doing, you will be doing for the chemistry also. Chemistry, all three chemistry, inorganic, organic and the physical chemistry. Same thing you have to do. So once by the month of May, uh, sorry, the June, if you're done with the uh, these subjects, that means you are sorted. At least you're 50, 60 percent sorted for your uh, for your class 11, 50, 60 percent. That's what I am saying. Then what will you do? You have to focus on your class 12th also because class 12th is important for the board and the need. So as your teacher will proceed in the class 12th in your school, simultaneously you have to be proceed in the same way. Suppose she's starting, suppose she's teaching your particular chapter within that particular time duration. And if you're, uh, you know, she's teaching you that in a school, so make sure you're do doing the NCRT reading also simultaneously. Each and every line of NCRT, again, it is important. And NCRT is that mysterious book. If you'll read it once, you will find some good concepts are there. 
आर वैसे तो आई टेल यू इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्टडी फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी इन अ वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम बट इफ यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट गिवन इन एन सी आर टी देन एट द सेकेंड एट द नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन यू विल रीड यू विल फाइंड इट ईजी एंड एट द थर्ड टाइम ऑल्सो वेन यू विल गो फॉर द रिविजन यू विल फाइंड सम न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट आर देर सो दिस इज दैट्स द रीजन आई कीप ऑन टेलिंग माई स्टूडेंट इज द मिस्टीरियस बुक्स सो मेक श्योर बिफोर द रीट एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव टू एट लीस्ट like four to five time reading is important for your uh, ncert clear so physics chemistry uh, this is that for this and how you going to do by making a particular time table so everyone you have to make a particular time table time table now you will you most of students they will come up here and they will ask in the comment section ma'am which time table should i follow See, every student is different. You are different from another. Another one is different from you. Everyone is different. You all have a different wake up time. You all are having different school time. So we cannot restrict ourselves. So make a timetable in this way. Key at least you are studying eight to nine hours in a day. Now eight to nine nine hours you will be like, ma'am, including the school hours also. No, it should be other than that. Okay, and if I'll say from the starting it is difficult. Yes, it will be difficult, but with time you should have this practice. So, how many hours should uh, you start dedicating from uh, the day first? The two hours, then three hours, then four hours, and like this you can increase. Okay, because why I'm saying two hours? Because you will you have to you know dedicate some time to your uh, you know the what is happening in your school also. so and if i talk about your schools 5 to 6 hours you are spending 5 to 6 hours in a school and then uh, you need some sleep time also and then again i am saying for the 2 hours you have to read the class 11th and then you will be doing your school work also so this is how you should follow slowly and slowly start increasing the time period right and uh, definitely you will read your uh, you will definitely reach to your success now time table first thing is you should start from the morning before your school suppose you uh, go to school at 7 uh, 30 am whatever your timings are so make sure at least one and a half hour to two hours you are dedicating early in the morning how many hours one and a half to two hours to two hours early morning early morning now which subject should we start this comes up student they come up to, uh, they uh, they keeps on asking this question ma'am i guess we should start with physics because physics most of numericals are there so we should start with physics isn't it no because if you are stuck at one particular question throughout the day you will be you will keep thinking about that question so better you should start the morning with a subject which is biology biology this will keeps you motivated and you will feel positive throughout the day isn't it now what you are going to do is the first thing you will get up early in the morning before your school time and you will dedicate 1.5 to 2 hours early morning and that too to the subject which is biology done then what will you do you will go to the school you will come back suppose you come come comes back at 2 and once you come back at 2 what will you do you will definitely rest for an hour you will watch tv or whatever you want to do you will do that and after that start reading the class 11th and biology we have already done now you will dedicate the time to your physics now the physics or chemistry depending on you physics and chemistry right two are you you are dedicating to physics and two are you will be dedicating to chemistry done and the rest of the time what will you do you will do the class 12th suppose you have to complete your notes in class 12th whatever you you have to do just do that clear so where to read from ncert only and from your 11th notes whatever is available to you and whenever you feel demotivated whenever you're like you were you were overburdened just think about a good medical college suppose your dream is uh, uh, all india institute of medical sciences aims delhi you want to come here then what you can do is you can take out a screenshot of a front building yeah uh, you can keep it on your table that will keep on motivating you right and stop guys wasting your time here and there and whenever you feel bored what you can do is you can go out you can go for a walk and you can talk to your parents uh, you can help them in the kitchen these are the small things which you should do clear and 
again i'm saying stop overburdening yourself do not keep a pressure here better if you'll start your day with a positive note if you'll complete a subject of biology any any particular topic you're starting and you have just completed it you have read the ncrt you have gone through your uh, class 11th notes that's it throughout the day you will be sorted throughout the day you will feel so positive so energetic i cannot tell you that okay so hope uh, every student will follow this and uh, get up now it's time for you to get up and uh, uh, if you'll think in that period of uh, two uh, two months after your board examination you will study the class 11th which most of the neat like this year also many students they messaged me and that is the reason today i am making this video for you guys so come on guys get up i can only say jago mohan pyare you have your exam next year get ready it's not only your dream to go to uh, one of the prestigious medical college it's our dream also that our students are selected at the different uh, places so all the very best thank you so much guys check your and do let me know if this works for you Thank you so much.